वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई टी स्मार्ट ट्रेनिंग नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू शो यू द सम एडवांस फीचर्स ऑफ एक्सचेंज पॉलिसी इन माई लस्ट टू वीडियोज आई हैव शो न्यू टू क्रिएट एन ई मेल एड्रेस पॉलिसी फ्रॉम जी वाई एंड हाउ टू मैनिपुलेट द मोस्ट स्पेसिफिक ई मेल एड्रेस वाया एक्सचेंज एक्सचेंज पावर शेल सो नाउ आई शो यू समथिंग एडवांस इन टू कन्फिगर फॉर्म एक्सचेंज पावर शेल सो आई प्रिपेयर सम डेमो कमांड Uh, here, so I show you how to execute this command and what is the function of this command and how to configure it. So let's stay tuned. We will show you the step by step. At first, I have to show my email address. Here is an option: get mailbox, the username, and then pipe sign. then select the object email addresses so i just if i copy this command and if i execute here in exchange server username i provide before Uh, do this i just press only the get mailbox once it will check uh, my exchange database and show you the exchange how many of users are created over here user 1 i just paste it the one it will show you the smtp address usit@smartlab.com and uit@smartlab.com it will take two separate email address policy these two email address are generated so we can use this one also as well as this one also next i want to set an email address to a specific user okay so suppose uh, this policy uh, suppose user 1 user 1 is an uh, user 1 is email address is this so if i press u1 uh, i just check what will be the uh, email address of u1 here so many email address are created over here so i just uh, i just configure a um, a specific email address so i need to provide this command set mailbox username okay then new at the rate of smartlab.com new is the new name okay whatever you want you can use this email address i just you uh, want for e1 i set an email address new at the rate of smartlab.com go to the exchange server enter so it will set next i have to provide this command to take effect here is u1 email address i need to disable the email address policy for this user okay done i just provide 
this and you can find that the new email address here in for these recipients uh, uh, the email address policy is not taken and it use my custom email address okay next uh, instead of adding the extra email address uh, if we need to uh, uh, revert back the previous configuration for that user so uh, we need to overwritten the previous one so for that we have to provide this command set mailbox e1 email address which is given previously then email address policy should be enabled I just copied it and paste it over the console see e1 at the red new both are shown here ok so using get member cm delete we can see that email address attribute is a collection so here I just set user1 and copy the command and paste it over here here you can see the member type proprietary definition is also here so this command is uh, used to uh, the proprietary name informations ok so next we will also expand the collection to see more details about each individual entry notice differences such as a IP primary address and ability to have the prefix so now we need to type the command get mailbox it will take the mailbox one select object expand property email address it will show the expand property email address see the SMTP address is u1 address string is u1 at the smartlab.com prefix IP primary address is true blah 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 these settings of this particular email address we can see with this command with the help using of with the this is a very helpful command indeed when we used set mailbox in the earlier example it overrides the existing attribute with a new value rather than insert or append the new value to the existing one so now we press this command only the username will change next I have to see it will change or not just change only the username
see SMTP address will change to new one e1 and new also okay so now remove the existing one now I remove a email address so set mailbox username email address instead of at I we will set remove okay I have to change my username see it will remove get mailbox check new one is deleted okay so after execute this command we run this command to see the changes is done or not now if you need to change the primary email address for the mailbox instead then there is a slightly different approach to use first you need to disable the email address policy for that mailbox then we have to do the next step so at first I disable the email address policy to the particular user so I just copy the command paste it over here instead of a1 I just put u1 u1 is my email at email at my recipient name set mailbox u1 email address I uh, just stop new at the rate smartlab.com and then false it will disabled okay next I have to do next we need to do set mailbox and provide the entire set of email address that we want to exist on the mailbox using the case sensitive prefix SMTP this is a case sensitive so we need to uh, write this all caps and to specify one is this primary email address so the command is this username is u1 my primary mail address is u1 at the smartlab.com and the secondary mail address is this and press enter ok next I have to see say my email address is configured if I go to the uh, recipients this one this is the primary email address and this is my secondary email address okay 
so this is all and this is how we can configure uh, more advanced task with this exchange powerful powershell command see you on next video thank you for watching